Okay, y'all. So, I am currently on my way to the car wash. Because the fuck, this car is filthy. More filthy than I ever wanted it to be. But it's definitely filthy. And so, we're going to go take care of that. Once I get to the car wash, I'm going to pick you guys back up. And then you guys can go to the car wash with me and get a little... While she wash, this car is filthy. Like, this is really like a precursor to actually getting this baby detailed. I got a couple things that I need to do before I actually get her detailed. But sis is dirty, dirty, dirty. Like, very, 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 very dirty. So... I definitely am like no not today it's hot outside and I don't want to be out here with the dirty car I don't want to be the, the girl with the dirty car not no more it's it's too hot to be the one with the dirty car the most popular I guess please select an upgrade or if you do not want an upgrade press I no upgrade. upgrade no thank you sis please select your payment method from the screen I'd rather be smoking weed Whenever we breathe Every time you kiss me Don't say that you miss me Just come get me black owned restaurants on tiktok come on here and so i'm gonna try one of those when i figure out which one i'm gonna go to i'm gonna be back and let you guys know you guys definitely come see you guys in okay you guys so the place i decided to go is a black owned um brunch spot in high park called 14 parish so i'll see you guys there Okay, so yes, I'm eating Subway. Um, Patricia, my truck. She decided to get a little funny acting. Round 53rd when I got off. Started like a grinding sound, y'all. I just got new brakes and rotors. So I'm not understanding that. So I brought her back and I got Subway tomorrow. I'm gonna switch out with my mom's car. I'm gonna put Patricia in the shop and we're gonna try again tomorrow with um, the restaurant. So I'm gonna enjoy my Subway sandwich and uh, yeah. We'll try again tomorrow. It is I don't know. I do have my phone. Hold up. Here it is. Am I in the bed? Yes. I keep looking at myself over here to make sure that I'm looking. Am I in the bed? Yes. Oh, it's Monday. I thought it was Monday. I wanted to be sure. So it's Monday, June 20th. I don't know if I'm gonna pick the camera back up today, but if not, I will see you guys tomorrow on Tuesday. Grandma's in y'all. Mm. I'm just waking up. It's 10.36, so um, I woke up early and I went back to sleep. So I get up and start getting ready for the day. Oh, and try to go back to the <clears throat> for brunch later on. I'm gonna go right now. Um, I better make faster. 
I've been doing this for um, a while. Um, so I'm trying to get tight, get ready for that. Um, what was the name of that restaurant? Was it Forte? It was, I want to say it was Forte Parish, but I don't want to say it incorrectly. Let me look it up. Yes, Forte Parish. Coming for you today. Coming for you today. My nail glue, um, should be coming to talk about my nails on. Yay! Yeah. So I'm gonna get up, drink some water, and take a shower and get all of that together. And then I will be back with you guys. We're going to 14 Parish. If you guys haven't been, I'm so excited for you guys to go with me. I know I look a mess. I just woke up, you know. Hey y'all, so fresh out the shower. Um, just air drying. Any of y'all air dry? I'm an air dry kind of girl. Um, so yeah, I, now I'm kind of on the fence about, um, 14 Parish today because it's hot as hell. I'm gonna check and see if they have parking, like a parking lot. I don't know if they have a parking lot. If you been in Chicago or you from Chicago, you know, High Park, what High Park is not known for is good parking places or spaces. So I'm going to check and see. If not, I have a backup black-owned um, restaurant that I do want to check out. So I'm going to see. Yeah, I'm going to see a 14 Parish. I'm going to look at the street. I'm going to see if they got some parking. If not, we might not be going to 14 Parish today. Y'all, we might be going to a different restaurant. It's called Flays. Flays. I got to I gotta figure out how to pronounce it. If nothing else, I, I'm going to look it up so I can spell it correctly. So y'all know where i'm going it is another black on establishment so yeah i um i'm gonna finish drying off and once i'm ready i will be back to you guys see you in a minute hey y'all so got dressed in the car is it three o'clock yes did i get up with y'all at 10 first yes but i really feel like that's my business but I just told y'all, so now it's y'all business. It's our business. So, not going to 14, 14 Parish, 14 in Parish. Not today. Dashboard reading 100. I need some place quick where I know I can get some parking. And uh, I ain't feel like getting cute today because it's hot as ever. I got the I got the air on full blast because I needed this car to get a little cool right away. So we're going to, ooh, where it is. And the location that we are going to, let me check really quickly. It's my first time coming or uh, going here. It is black owned. And let me see, I just looked up the information. It's on, the one I'm going to is 33rd East 83rd Street. So that's the one that I'm going uh, to. And yeah, so let's go. So the car finally got cool enough. My battery full. I got my other batteries charging. Already in the car. Let me charge my phone so my phone can be charging. So yeah, this is my dashboard look camera thing that I got from Amazon. It's on here. It ain't going nowhere. So we're going to see how it goes with the ride. It's hot, but I really wanted to, I really still wanted to get out. I really did, y'all. I really did. I wanted to get out still. So here I am getting out. So, yeah, let's go. Um, can y'all see stuff? I don't want y'all to be seeing stuff y'all ain't supposed to be seeing. Hold up. I still got this clay stuff on my glasses. Don't brush your teeth with your glasses on. I, and I normally don't. But today, why I did it, I do not know. I use the Harry's toothpaste system. I love it by the way um i really feel like my teeth 
respond to it better than um like crest and Colgate, you know. Use it, use that at if you will. But I'm just saying, hold up, let me do. Did I do it? Look, and let me find out my ass is. Cause look, I'm trying to make sure I'm probably still learning the buttons on this damn camera. So I'm trying to make sure that yeah, that's the one. That I got the background blurred. And I don't know how you know if it's working or not. Okay, I pressed it. I don't know, y'all. If it ain't blurred, I'ma make it blurred. I'm gonna make it enough. So here we go. Let me put my GPS on connected to the young car. Yeah. Hold up, hold up. Let me get this out. Be patient with me, y'all. Cause listen, I'm on my way. We gonna get there. Okay. And we off. So let me do that. Is this on the Bluetooth? I need this to be on the Bluetooth. Okay. Let's go. I know I keep looking at myself over here, but that's to make sure it's in the right position. So, here we go. So, um, the GOP, I don't know where it's at. I want to say Texas because it feels like some Texas shit, but it might not be Texas. I'm going to put the right state in if it's not Texas or whatever. Uh, trying to do some shit to say um, homosexuality is abnormal. It's it's given it's given DL because heterosexuals, a lot of heterosexuals. I ain't gonna say all heterosexuals because I'm a heterosexual and I don't feel this way. But it is a lot of heterosexuals. Who has an uh, who have an unhealthy infatuation with homosexuality? It's weird. It is weird. It is like when y'all decided to make up the Bible and make up these religions. Y'all should have added homosexuality into the Bible so that y'all would at least have a fucking leg to stand on. Because you can't say that. God didn't want homosexuals. You can't say that because the shit's not. Everybody saying it ain't in the Bible. I'm not a Bible person, but word on the street is that shit's not in the Bible. I don't like you because at some point in time, when I'm not around, unbeknownst to me, on a day that I don't know about, for a length of time that I'm not aware of, in a city, state, neighborhood, district that I have no clue about, Y'all engage in sex together. And because of that, I don't like you. I don't like you and I don't like what you And you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have no rights. You shouldn't be able to get married. You shouldn't be able to hold hands outside. You shouldn't be able to express yourself. You shouldn't be able to request for rights because at some point in time in the day, not even every day, but at some point in time in the day, y'all have sex with each other. Do you know how detrimental it is to a person's existence when they cannot be who they want to be for fear of motherfuckers killing them, discriminating against in them, mile, just having all kind of issues with them? That shit West, is Chicago. fucking weird and the fact that they bringing this shit up and, and we got so many more fucking problems. Anybody who has strong issues with homosexuality. What they gay to me. Shoulder. None of my business. He was like, oh, well, yeah, you out in public doing miles. it so I can see you. Right so, I so, unsee it. Unsee it. It's like, so what? Okay, so you can see them and what? I don't want my kids to have questions. You need to have your kids. You, you, got, you got to tell them about this shit anyway. 
anyway it's just because you don't you don't want your your second grader to to go outside and, and see some shit and be like well goddamn she got a girlfriend and i've been liking i've been liking motherfucking uh chardonnay in the goddamn class and i didn't know why so this is a fucking thing you you don't want your kids to be able to identify their feelings i feel like that's the biggest a bigger issue with a lot of motherfuckers who be like i don't like to see people homosexual out of you so fucking stupid it's weird and and you you in other people business for no reason and why are you doing that go read a fucking book go find something to do with yourself plant a garden sit your ass down and watch paint dry i i don't know eat some motherfucking vegetables i don't know but don't eat carrots because that shit's supposed to help your eyesight and you don't need to see no more than you already seeing hey y'all oh i just should need to adjust my battery died clearly that was the universe's uh signal telling me that we we done with that rain because it was it was getting me heated it, it be getting me heated heated y'all so i'm almost at the place i'm already right off on the expressway so i will pick you guys back up oh right right here when we uh when i get in Yo, yo, my men and my women, don't forget about the thing. Is it out the most to king? Yo, it's about a thing. Uh, yeah, feel yo, real good with your hands what, in the air. Since you were looking for your friend The one you let hit it and never called you again uh, Remember when he told you he was about to uh -huh, Benjamin's yeah. You act like you ain't him They give him a little trim yeah. to begin How you think you really gonna pretend yeah. Like you wasn't down and you called him again yeah. Plus when yeah. you give it up so easy You ain't even fooling him yeah. If you did it then and you then and you Talking out your neck, saying you're a Christian. I must slap, sleeping with the gin. Now that was the sin that did Jezebel in. Who you gonna tell when the repercussions spin? Showing off your ass, cause you thinking it's a trend, girlfriend. Let me break it down for you again. You know I only say it cause I'm truly genuine. Don't be a hard rock when you really are a gin, baby girl. Respect is just the minimum. And you still defending them now. Lauren is only human. Don't think I haven't been through the same predicament. Let it sit inside your head like a million women in Philly pen. It's silly when girls sell their souls because it's sad. Look at where you be in. Hair weaves like Europeans. Fake nails done by Koreans. Come again. Dedicated to the man, more concerned with his rims and his Tims and his women, him and his man. Come in the club like hooligans, don't care who they your fan, pop and yang. Like you got yang. Let's not pretend they want to pack pissed out by the waist, man. Crushed out by the case, man. Still the name of this face, man. Some pretty face, man. Claiming that they did a bit, man. Need to take care of their three and four kids, man. The face in court case when the child supports late. Money taking heart breaking, now you wonder why women hate men. The sneaky silent man, the punk domestic violence man. The quick to shoot the semen, stop acting like boys and be men. So this is the location on 83rd and State, I believe is 33 East 83rd Street, South 83rd Street, I'll put it up. My waiter was Ryan, she was exceptional. If you guys are in the Chi-Town area, definitely try out Uwe it is. I had a great experience. I had the grilled catfish and I had it with the yams. It came with cornbread and mac and cheese. It was delicious. I am stuffed. I also had the Obama lemonade that was good as well. I have other stops that I need to make today, but I am stuffed. So we're going to push through. But yeah, definitely try out Uwe it is. Uh, if you're in the Chicagoland area, it was great. Y'all, when I tell you, come on camera, come through in the clutch. There we go. Um when i tell y'all i'm so damn stuffed i know i'm supposed to be going to target i like that restaurant okay now it's black owned i probably have gone to other black owned restaurants but this was the first time that i have intentionally gone to a black owned restaurant and i loved it everybody was black um the staff the customers 
I loved it. It was a, I loved it. I loved it. I had the, um, again, cause I don't know if I'm gonna take that part out or not. Ryan, beautiful young lady. She was my, um, waitress. She was fantastic. The food took about, I'm gonna say 15. To me, they were, they were busy. She said that they weren't busy. When I pulled in the parking lot, it was maybe like three parking spaces. So, I mean, I don't know how it is when it's actually busy, but it seemed it seemed fairly busy to me. So the food was awesome. Um, the mac and cheese, if you like cheesy, cheesy, I'm not a fan of super cheesy mac. I like my, my mac and cheese cheesy. I don't I don't like my mac and cheese like overly cheesy. But it's a lot of people that do like their mac and cheese, overly cheesy. And if you are one of those people that like your mac and cheese, overly cheesy, then you're gonna love, you'll love their mac and cheese. So, the yams were delicious, the cornbread was delicious, the grilled catfish was delicious, the Obama tea was delicious. It was a little bit on the sweet side, but again, it, it depends on the type of person that you are. I'm intermittent fasting. And so, because I'm intermittent fasting right now, I am trying to eat fairly clean. This is like a little cheat meal for me. I, I try to eat like fairly clean. Um, so, I, I don't drink juice, no pop or nothing like that. So, when I do get a chance to have something sweet, it tends to be a little bit overly sweet. The Obama drink was not overly sweet, but it was sweet. But it was good. It got finished. That it did. But now... Um, I am suffering from what is commonly known as the itis. So there's a large part of me that just want to go the fuck home, and I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so I know I say um a lot, and I'm gonna get it together. This is my first vlog ever. I've been wanting to do this for so long. I've been wanting to vlog for so long, but. Um, procrastination is a disease and a lot of times for me I tend to psych myself out of stuff I know for the people who have been um, subscribed to my channel for a while I've been gone for a while a lot of things have happened um, since then a lot of amazingly awesome fantastic things have happened time away was needed I this was not that wasn't the real me that was the that was the the YouTube me that was the in my head like okay well make sure you don't say this make sure you don't say that this this Candace right here this is the this is the regular Candace this is the original me Candace this is not like a made up YouTube Candace and I feel like that's the reason why I kind of lost my zest for my channel is because I was I was doing things that I felt y'all wanted to see instead of me just being me and doing what I wanted to do. Because I feel like that's the best way for you to at least be able to continue to post videos. Is if you're doing something that you enjoy doing. I like, you know, bad stuff and wearing clothes and stuff like that, but that's not necessarily what I wanted to do. So yeah, that's it. I've been gone for a while and I'm back. So I'm thinking about trying out weekly vlogs. Um, sometimes I might do something where it's like broke up in between the week. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not gonna put any type of parameters on myself. Um, all I know is that I'm focused on consistency more than inconsistency, quality and consistency in that order. So about the location, I went on a rant. I'm gonna do that too, I'm gonna do that too. And am. So about the Uwe location, it's on 83rd, right there on the corner. If you miss it, it's probably because you're one of those people that's really not from the city. Your ass is probably from like Naperville or someplace, and you lying telling people that you're from Chicago and you really not. Because 83rd is a, a busy street, so you definitely gotta keep your head on a swivel, but the restaurant's right there very nice staff was exceptional very friendly very welcoming the service was great in my opinion the food was great in my opinion i will be back for a fact 
um i definitely it's it is a place where if you want some from what i saw on the menu they have a lot of different options but if you want like some like light soul food or some soul food that's going to be the place that you can go and enjoy yourself. The environment is very welcoming. They also have like a cereal bar area. I think the next time that I go, I might try the cereal bar area. My son would love the cereal bar area. I'm lactose intolerant. So I hope they got some almond milk because the way my body set up with dairy, with milk, I might as well eat it on the toilet. Now, what's weird is though, I can't eat any other dairy. I can eat ice cream, cheese, any other dairy. But milk, milk tears me up. I don't care, whole milk, 2%, half, I don't care what kind of milk it is. It tears me up. When I say tear me up, I'm saying I can't get through a bowl of cereal. If I if I eat two spoonfuls of cereal with some milk on a spoon, I'm 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 out of commission for the rest of the day. Out of commission for the rest of the day. I don't know what it is when you get a little old. And see, they said that they said that black people are supposed to be consuming milk, and I believe that because we get older and our body is like, no, we don't want this no more. So when I was younger I could eat anything I wanted to now I gotta pay attention to when I'm like okay so if I had mac and cheese at three I know I can't eat sour cream and onion chips at seven because 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 that's gonna tear me up that's what's gonna that's what's gonna mess me up so yeah hopefully they have I'm sure that they have different milk options because it's a cereal bar but I'm definitely um, wanting to take my son there to experience it. I want him to be in the midst of his people and to just to be able to feel that ex excellence all around him. Like I very much so am going to continue to have that for him. My nail glue came from Amazon. So what I am going to do when I go home is I'm going to put my nails on. I do my own press-ons. I also do my own pedicures because... Because... Chinese people, I ain't saying all of y'all, but Chinese people, when COVID first hit the scene, the, I, I'm, I, I, I'm still sliding down a wall about the way y'all treated black people trying to flip it on us like the black people... I'm still I'm still in my feelings about that. So because of that, I can't fuck with y'all. I can't I can't fuck with the Chinese food. I can't fuck with the with the nail shops. I don't give a fuck. I'll pay extra. Um if I decide that I want to go and get a pedicure, I will pay extra to go to a, a, a black nail salon. I don't give a damn. Overcharge me. But I can't do it. I can't that's with the nail shop. It's hard to it's hard to get around uh dealing with Chinese everything because every damn thing here is from China, but I'm not interested in patronizing y'all. I'm just not. I'm just not. Cause y'all showed y'all asses. And from everything that I've ever seen, when y'all put y'all nail shops, y'all put y'all nail shops in our in our neighborhood, y'all treat us like shit. Y'all open up beauty supplies in our neighborhood, y'all treat us like shit. Y'all open up Chinese food restaurants in our neighborhood. Y'all treat us like shit. So, I'm fucking over it. I'm over it. So, do I still go to the beauty supply though? Yes. But as soon, as soon as I find me a black owned beauty supply in Chicago. And if anybody knows about a black owned beauty supply in Chicago, please drop it in the comments. But as soon as I find me a black owned beauty supply in Chicago, I'm not fucking with that either not fucking with it either i'm i'm trying to i'm trying to get all the way i'm trying to get all the way out the out the out the equation because y'all showed y'all asses not all of y'all but y'all showed y'all asses i am not dealing with anybody who is not dealing with my people i'm very much so black lives matter if you know anything about me personally you know i'm very much so black lives matter i do not fucking play about my people i do not fucking play about the treatment of my people i do not I am very much so, I see something and I'm going to say it type person. 
very much so if you got such an issue with us stop putting y'all shit up in our neighborhood the reason why y'all put y'all shit up in our neighborhood is because y'all know that we the largest consumers on of, of every fucking thing every fucking thing but let us try to open up a business these motherfuckers make us jump through 89,000 loops and hoops and dips and scoops and still will reject us we could have every positive credential that we supposed to have and, and motherfuckers will still find a way to not give it to us. Still find a way to not let us have our own thing. This channel, this channel is for, for, for woke people. This channel is for people that want to be on this journey but also understand my frustrations. If you, are, if you are one of these people that's walking around with your eyes closed, this is not going to be the channel for you. And Believe. That old Candace that politically correct Candace that oh I don't know that shit you get in my comments talking cray cray about my people I'm going I'm going underground below where the caskets are and I'm gonna eat your ass up don't say shit about my people if you got something to say about my people shut the fuck up if, if it ain't if it, shut the hell up cause we ain't perfect I'm not saying we perfect. We got our issues as well. But don't come with the dumb shit. Especially if it's an assumption. Same goddamn people told us. Made eating watermelon some black shit. When did everybody love watermelon? The hell? When we was when we was farming watermelon, y'all hated that shit. And so y'all made it into a bad thing. Like y'all always. Black people love watermelon chicken. Everybody love chicken. Everybody love watermelon and chicken. What the hell? But I digress. Thank y'all for coming to my TED talk. I'm back at the palace. And y'all see y'all on the inside. I'm gonna get my uh, press ons on. And I, oh, I can show y'all my nail desk. It says she go, she go from ranting to, to talking regular. Yes, cause I could do both. Get your girl that could do both. Get your lady that could do both. Somebody that's passionate about her people and the things that's going on and understanding the wrongs that have been wrong to black people and other people of color. And one that can also do her own press songs and got her own fucking $40. Yeah. Maybe it's me, maybe it's the camera, but I'm looking, I'm looking thick about the shoulders and I don't like that. So now is, I definitely is it the, is it the camera or is it me or is it a conspiracy? I don't know, but I was thinking about recording yesterday, but it was literally nothing going on. The most I was going to do is pick up the camera and say, it's nothing going on today. And I ain't trying to waste y'all time, you know? So we got that going on. We have a lot of little tedious things to do today. Not really tedious, but just little things to do on. Don't mind the hand eczema, it, baby. 
is happening. It was way worse than this. It was five of them. It was one, two, three, four. It looked like a damn. It was four of them. It looked like a, a five die, but missing one. Yeah, I love my black soul, but black soul didn't love me. So, speaking for myself, for anybody else who's dealing with eczema, For me, the black soap, I can't speak for nobody else. I'm going to speak for myself. The black soap was doing me great until it just wasn't. I was using a particular black soap. I had used it all up. I went and re up for my second bar. Everything was going good. And then my skin just got too dry. Because even though I like, um, I like the feeling of like that squeaky clean with my eczema. Because my eczema, it's... It's been an issue for me for a very long time. And because of that, I can't I can't let my skin get dry like that. And a lot of times I take a shower and I'll air dry. And then after I air dry, I fall asleep. So I end up not moisturizing my skin. Um, that's about it. I'm headed to Walmart as we speak. I'm probably about like 10, 15 minutes away. And then I'm gonna figure out what I wanna eat. I so I decided to not take my camera in. I have my phone, but tell me y'all, why the fuck did two of my nails just pop off in the car? My car brush on nail glue, count y'all fucking days. So now I'm gonna go get some what am I gonna get? Some iPhone chargers. Yes. That's how we get down, because you never know. There are some that feel some type of way about buying feminine products. Like I like tampons, not me. I don't like them. I don't have a problem buying pairs on the fuck. Be the finest cashier ever. I'm gonna slap these. I'm gonna slap these holes on the counter like they dominoes because I buy these once a month and I will always prefer to buy these once a month than Pampers every fucking week so yeah ladies use what you need not what everybody else telling you to use this is what works for me I ain't gotta work for y'all it's the audacity for me why the fuck they got the iPhone products iPhone accessories locked up but the Android accessories, that's out in the open. Don't, don't, don't ever disrespect us like that. Never. But I do need somebody to open this shit up so I get some phone cords for my people. Hold up. My bad. I was talking shit too soon. Here go the iPhone and stuff. I was, I was, cause I was about to say, no. No, this ain't iPhone. Yeah, I'll take it back. I still feel the same way. So change your plans. It's the long ass Walmart lines for me, so I'm going to Target. Yeah. So I thought about some food. 
apparently I want some fruit. These cherries from Target that I showed y'all. They doing what they needed to do. Was they high guess? Is everything else high guess? So it is what it is. I spent less than a hundred dollars at Target. So I did fucking good. So I'm on my way back to the house now. This shit is dark. I don't know what to, what kind of settings I need, y'all. But I need something. This old ass fucking man. Oh my bad. That's Got a little better. So I cut product showcase off so it could get a little bit closer. I was talking. I need a baby wipe. These guys beat up. So. Yeah, I'm on my way home now. I'm sorry about this quality. I don't know what the hell to do about this. I'm going to have to go on YouTube and um, find some stuff out because I don't know what I'm doing. So, now I'm on my way back to the crib. I got all of my stuff that I need for me to uh, be able to cramp as comfortably as I can. I knew I should have took the fucking street. All these goddamn. It's okay. It's alright. I get a little cranky. When it's that time for me, um, this shit is not helping any. I've been using just over-the-counter hydrocortisone. I don't do it every day because for me, what I notice is when I do hydrocortisone every day, even when I'm having an outbreak, like a flare-up, if I put if I put it on every day, it'll make it worse. So I kind of do it sparingly when I do put it on, and I don't put it on every day. And I also do the little wet wipe things, the little wet wrap things, but I use this uh, my mom's friend is a she's a scientist so she makes her own formula for her body butters and stuff like that she got real good body butter that i love to use that works real well with my ex got that going on i do think i'm a um, i'm gonna sit outside and edit I just changed out of this. I'm gonna take a couple pictures. Then you change out. Y'all, I just uh, realized. I said, "Girl, did you really get in the car and started eating them cherries out the carton?" And did motherfuckers? Like, you need to wash your fruit. I didn't. I ain't do it this time. And didn't. Yeah. Call me a dirty bitch if you want to. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Let me act like I care. No, I don't care. And it was good. They was real good. They ain't taste dirty to me. They ain't taste dirty to me. So, yeah. That's just it. Because that's for anybody who was talking shit about me eating them cherries right out of Target. I, yep, I did. I wanted my cherries. Yep. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. Kids eat dirt. Not too bad. Oh, 
gotta get this color together. So beautiful today. It's like 90 though. Not quite yet, but it's fuck hot the fuck enough, that's for sure. Hey y'all, happy Friday. It is earlier than the fuck I wanted to be up right now. Uh, outside, it's 10 o'clock. I normally be chilling at this time, not necessarily out doing stuff. I was wondering what I was going to do today on Friday um, for the vlog and how I was going to get things started. But um, yesterday, my son clogged up the toilet on the main floor. So, worked on it for hours and hours and hours. Left it, hoping that things would like break up. Hours and hours woke up this morning, still clogged. So, now I'm on my way to Ace Hardware to get some toilet stuff to unclog the toilet. Ace Hardware, and hopefully they have all of the things that I would need so that I don't have to drive all the way to Walmart. But if I do, then I'll be driving to Walmart. Y'all be going with me, because we like this now. We we besties. And that's just that on that. So, come on, y'all. We finna go head over to Ace Hardware. I, I know. I know you don't feel like going to Ace Hardware. Throw anything on. It's not it's not super important what's happening with this camera is the battery not good because don't do that come on y'all let's go to ace i know clean your eyes out get, get the crust out let's go to ace hey y'all so my camera ran out of memory so i gotta delete some stuff yeah i'm back at the house because i told y'all get dressed if y'all want to come with me y'all took too long so i i left and did it myself so let me show y'all what i got I don't want to hear nothing. So, I got this. This is Snake. I got this different kind of plunger. And then I got this. This going to be last. I'm going to try this first. And then second. Then third, we're going to do the box, the Red X. So, Let's uh, let's do this. Yeah, cause we've been trying already. As you can see, the water all the way down. Here. So. I'm gonna try this. The way the toilet bowl is made, it's got like a slope to it. So the um what you call it don't regular plungers like don't fit around the base like you would think they should. So yeah, I've never ever ever used one of these before. So I do want to try to take this plastic part off because I don't want this. I don't know if this is going to end up getting wet in the toilet and then once it get wet in the toilet I ain't going to touch it. So. so the directions say pull handle upward to position the head at the end of the tool. That's the that's the head. Don't act like I don't know what it's supposed to look like. Don't do that. Then it say carefully insert in into toilet bowls so as not to scratch porcelain. Rotate handle clockwise while gently pushing handle downward. Pull handle back to original position. Remove tool slowly and flush the toilet. Okay, so I'm gonna take it step by step. Pull handle upward to position boring head. Okay. All right. And this say, carefully insert in into toilet bowl so it's not to scratch the toilet. So I think I do want to take this down there because ain't no way it's not. Look at all of that. It went all the way down. Then it say, pull handle back to original position, remove tube slowly, and flush the toilet. Yeah. 
It definitely broke up something. Bingo! Wow. Yes! Who did that? I did it! Yes, y'all. Woo! This has been a, almost over 24 hours of, of, of literal crap. Thank y'all for coming to my TED Talk. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to get back to editing. Until next time, y'all stay safe.